All right. I enjoy long, gushy walks on the beach, getting ignored in the rain, and serendipitous encounters with layers. I really like pina coladas mixed with Trump's tears and romantic candlelit glizzies and cum. I am well-read from Dr. Seuss to Booty. I travel frequently, especially to Hibosa's backyard when I am not busy with work. I am a erotic chef. I am looking for broken condom and beauty in the form of an ethnic goddess. <laughs> she should have the physique of Miss Fitz and the hairbrush of Large Marge. I would prefer if she knew how to cook, Get clean, and wash my cum curds. Out of my backyard. I know I am not very attractive in my picture, but it was taken 8675309 days ago, and I have since become more dumpy. <laughs> That's the worst fun. Absolutely. All right, fam. So we have Romeo and Juliet. We need we need some music. We need some background music for this. <laughs> Two dildos both alike in dignity in fair vape shop where we lay our scene. From ancient foreskin break to new mutiny where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes a pair of star-crossed dogs take their life. Who misadventured Pytius overthrows do with their Samsung Crystal UHD 50 TU 7020 2020 by their parents strife. The field for passage of their meaty love and the continuance, continence of their parents' rage, which, but with their children's eds, not could pumping, is now the six trillionth hour's traffic of our stage. The which, if you with engorged left labia attend, what here shall ooh -ooh -ooh, our toll shall strive to mend. All right, chat. We're looking for my ideal man. We we're looking for that ideal man. We need. Let's go, chat. My dream man. My dream man should, first of all, be very rich and yoked and whorish. He should have a physique like Obama, a profile like Scientology's best man Tom Cruise, and the intelligence of a Furby. He must be polite and must always remember to pulsating my Papa John's Papazon chair, oh god, to tip his flashlight and to take my vajenko when crossing the street. He should move bigly and throbbingly and have a dank voice. He should always dress sexily. I would also like him to be a mucousy dancer. And when we are alone, he should whisper blispered, blistered nothings into my knee pit and hold my moist and swollen Bob Ross's wet pain brush. And no, a Bob Ross is hard to find. In fact, the only one I could think of is Booty. Where is that? Do an arrow roll! Oh, 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 whoa! Oh, whoa! Engorged left labia, oh, woo! Oh, God. <laughs> 